Hi everyone, it's Tim AU here with an Elden Ring guide. Where to find and defeat the Spirit Caller Snail and get the Glinstone Sorcerer Ashes. The snail may be found in the Road's End Catacomb. To find the catacombs, head to either the Temple Quarter Sacred Grace or the Converted Tower Sacred Grace. Then from either, head to the Minor Erd Tree. If coming from the Converted Tower Sacred Grace, head north into the water following the cliff around to the west. Then head south along the western coast. You will then come to two doors. Open these and head inside to reach the catacombs. From the Sacred Grace, head downstairs. There will be an enemy ambushing from the right. Take care of this enemy. Once this enemy has been dispatched, head down the path, watching for another enemy on the right. Dispatch this enemy as well, and then head over to the lever. Pull this lever. This will allow access to the boss fog. Head downstairs, and you will see a set of walls. Some of these are hidden paths, in front of me now, and in front of me now. Destroy this wall, and continue down the path. There will be a number of additional walls down this path that you'll need to destroy to get through. Once you reach the room with the four sarcophagi, pass through the doors and the boss fog will be in front of you. Pass through the boss fog. The boss itself is currently invisible and will summon a warrior armed with a long spear to fight you. This warrior can deal quite a bit of damage and has a surprisingly long reach. The summons moves it, mostly consists of wide sweeps and long thrusts. It does have a gap closer, and it will leap into the air and perform a ground slam. The summon itself has quite a bit of health, and you can kill the summon to reveal the invisible boss's location. Upon defeating the summon, after a few seconds, the boss will appear. Its first position will always be that top corner. This is your damage opportunity. Run as fast as you can and get in as many hits as you can. There is, however, a significantly easier way to fight this boss. I recommend summoning a summon with at least two entities to maintain aggro of the Spirit Caller Snail's summon. You may then charge the snail, knowing that it's in that top right corner. After a few hits, the snail will change location. This new location may not be in a corner, and is evidenced by the white glow on the ground. From here, the fight becomes a balancing act of maintaining distance from the snail's summon while being able to deal damage to it. Watch out for this stake that I'm about to get stuck on. And that's it. After a few seconds the summon will fade, and you will receive the Glinstone Sorcerer Ashes. Congratulations! If this guide helped you out, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. You can also find me on Twitch, link down in the description below.